Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers in the world of e-commerce. Our viewer asks, how can we generate a unique increment ID for orders associated with different sellers? In an e-commerce system, managing orders from multiple sellers can get complicated. Each seller has a unique account ID, and we need to ensure that every order they place gets a sequential order number. This means the first order for a seller gets the number one, the second order gets two, and so on. But how do we achieve this without running into issues like duplicates or deadlocks? Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Let's get started. To address the challenge of generating unique increment IDs for orders associated with different sellers, we need to ensure that each seller's order numbers are sequential and unique. Let's explore the first solution you attempted. While this solution seemed effective initially, it led to duplicate order numbers due to concurrent inserts reading the same top value. This highlights the need for atomic operations. Let's move on to your second solution. Although this approach eliminated duplicates, it introduced deadlocks due to the locking mechanism required to prevent them. Now let's discuss your third solution involving sequences. Using sequences can be efficient, but managing hundreds of thousands of sequences may impact database performance. A potential alternative could be to implement a centralized sequence generator that handles increments for all accounts, reducing the number of sequences needed. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To generate a unique increment ID for a foreign key, create a view that tracks the highest account order number. Use schema binding for better performance. For inserting records, you can use the view in an insert select statement to get the next sequence number. Alternatively, for direct values, you can use an insert value statement that retrieves the next sequence number from the view. And that's it guys. We've gone through, I hope you found your resolution and found the answer you're looking for. If it helped, please hit subscribe, really appreciate it, and be on the lookout for more technical help videos. Have a good one.